To say Oceanside, California is a marine town is an understatement. Cruise the streets and more often than not, you'll stumble upon a couple of dozen barber shops. At a five. Or a dry cleaners. Um, I would say about 80 to 95% of them are all Marines. We have a few Army, a few Navy, but most of them are Marine Corps from Camp Pendleton. The longer they largely depend on Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton for business and show their support for the Devil Dogs with pride. Jeanette's Cleaners has scoured Marine uniforms, done alterations, and sewn on patches for decades. Store clerk Christina Schrum says when she hears about Marines from nearby dying in Afghanistan or Iraq, it always saddens her. I I go back in our, we go back in our computers and check to see if there are Marines, because sometimes, you, you know, before the names are released, obviously you're always wondering if they're Camp Pendleton, then we go back, because some of these guys, they've been customers for years, and we've, you know, formed connections, and they come in, and we've seen their kids, or their wives, or, you know, we've formed relationships. I think it affects us to an extent. Customers are scarce today at this barber shop. Isaac Bernal says on Sundays, Marines fill the chairs and adds they don't talk as freely when bad news dominates the headlines. Yeah, they get a lot more quiet, more sheltered kind of, you know, stay to themselves, you know. You're not a Marine, we won't talk Marine business, you know. Two wars can have a big impact on a town's mood. I think most of the city wants to see the Marines come back home, all their families are here and all that kind of stuff, so I'd say morale is definitely lower than it could be. Says former Marine turned barkeep Bud LeMay. He served in Iraq. Um, guys are just kind of over the whole uh, the whole war. They're over the whole reason they're there. They're so burned out on losing their families, losing their wives, losing their homes. They're just, uh, I, in my opinion, from what I see, they're not happy. LeMay says he sees battle fatigue on their faces and sees battle fatigue amongst everyone in Oceanside. John Moan, The Associated Press.